I'm Tyler with Inspired Flight, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the IF-1200, our heavy lift hexacopter. First, we'll assemble the landing gear, which are found just inside the case. Twist the vertical tube until you feel it click into place, and then tighten with the ratcheting clamp on the side. Set it aside and repeat with the other. It's important that the O-rings go on the bottom half of the horizontal tube because when the arms are folded down, the O-rings protect the carbon fiber from the motor. Once the landing gear is assembled, we'll take out the top insert and set it aside. We'll remove the body of the drone by lifting from the Velcro straps. This is easier to do with two people, but if you're by yourself, hold the drone with one arm and with the other arm, lift the right and left arm, revealing the landing gear sockets underneath. We'll then insert the landing gear in the same way as we did with the bottom, feel it notch into place, and tighten the ratcheting clamp. Once the landing gear is installed, you can set the vehicle down. Next, we'll lift the remaining arms, and you'll feel them lock into place. Remove the prop holders by sliding towards the body of the drone and lifting off. Lift the GPS mast fully and clip the latches on both sides. Next, we'll install the battery. So we'll unfasten the Velcro straps on the top. Grab the battery and set it on the top of the vehicle, making sure that the battery logo is on top and the battery lead is on the rear right of the aircraft. Wiggle the battery to make sure that it's in place and secure it with the Velcro straps. Plug in the battery lead into the lead in the back of the aircraft You'll notice that the battery connector has keys, so it can only go in one way. Now we'll unfold all of the propellers. It's important to do this because although the spinning motor can unfold the propeller on its own, it puts undue stress on the motors. And if only half of the propellers are unfolded, the thrust on one side can flip the vehicle. Next, we can grab the controller and power it on by holding the power button in the front. Wait for the boot up sequence, and if Q ground control doesn't open automatically, select the purple icon to open it. Now we'll power on the aircraft by holding for three seconds on the power button. We're now ready for our pre-flight checklist, which can be found in the next video. Thanks for watching.